What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to just do a real quick video on how I made a at-home cheap target range uh, for shooting guns and such. So let's jump in. I'll show you what I did and uh, trust me this is something you could easily do from home if you have the space and the ability to shoot at your own house. So, okay here we go. So real simple. This is actually probably one of the simplest cheapest basic methods of building a target. The only expensive part out of the whole thing were the actual steel targets. Um, so basically what I did was I just got three eight foot long treated lumber two by fours. I kept the top one uncut, just an eight foot two by four. I took the side two by fours. There was one here and one there. I cut them in half so they had four foot legs. And then I bought these two by four brackets here that basically you use to make like a saw horse. You could actually get both brackets, this bracket here, and that bracket over there for probably about seven dollars so again three treated lumber two by fours two brackets and then i bought some basic chain i went to lowe's and had them cut chain in one foot lengths again this was like a buck something per linear foot so i had you know 10 one foot chains uh, then i bought some three eight bolts let me see if i can get on this side so i got a three eight bolt here and there's there's 10 bolts and then i got the nuts to match the bolt so i got 10 of those and then i got about 10 or 20 um loctite washers which are right behind the bolt and then i got a bunch of larger 3 8 washers i put one behind the bolt here and then i put two double stacked let me see if i can get it to focus here right here I got two double stacked here to try to keep the chain away from the plate. So again, I got a bolt, a washer, two washers, the chain, another washer, a lock nut, then the, then the nut onto the bolt. And I did that for all the plates. And then I just got some basic outdoor spray paint and spray painted all the, the black here with just a basic black. Um, I did a light coating because I wanted that weathered look so that you could still see some of the grain of the wood. I just wanted that beat up battleground weathered look. So I just did a little bit of light black spray paint there. Plus it'll also protect the wood from the elements. And then I got some basic hooks right here. Like that, like these hooks here. And I got 10 of those and I just measured out my plates, screwed them in to the top. And then the plates, I didn't, I didn't make those. I actually bought those on eBay. I got all five, that's AR 500 half inch thick steel plating. I got that whole set. So all five of those, I think it's a four, a six, an eight, a 10 and a 12. So I got all those for around $95 on eBay. And I'll put the link in the description as well of where I got those. But again, it's real simple and easy. And the reason I wanted to do it this way is because I wanted something that was somewhat portable and something that was somewhat easy to manage if I ever needed to fix it. So for example, if someday this top wood ever went bad, I could just cl collapse these two legs here, pop the top bracket out, buy a new two by four, and I'm good to go. If these brackets here ever fail, they're, five, they're six or seven dollars for a set of two. So it's not that big of a deal. Nothing else should really fail. I mean, over time, maybe the chains will rust out, but I highly doubt it. Um, because again, what's nice about this is when I want to take them off or I'm done shooting for the day, take them with me, put them in the house. And then the only thing up here is really just that, uh, the wood structure there. And then I tied an outdoor rope to some bricks just to kind of stabilize it in case it's a windy day. But uh, overall, it's a very simple method of creating a target because I like to shoot guns and I wanted something to shoot at other than, you know, recyclables, you know, pop cans and plastic containers and such. So I created this and it turned out actually really, really nice. I'm really happy with how it turned out. And now I can actually shoot steel targets and I don't have to worry about always having recyclables around. And when I destroy them, you know, my, t my shooting doesn't have to be done for the day. I could just keep shooting them and if I uh, beat up the plates a little bit, I just spray a little bit more uh, spray paint. This was only the first coat 
of green. I'm gonna eventually keep spray painting them coat after coat to get them a nice bright green. But overall, very happy. I'd say total, uh, I'd say probably about maybe $150 invested in this whole set. Again, the most expensive was the steel plates. That was 95 bucks, but they were already, they were shipped pretty fast. Uh, I was actually pretty happy with the price, the shipping, the, the quality of the workmanship was spot on. I, I couldn't complain. So uh, that was the most expensive part of it all. But again, about 150 bucks total investment. Now I got this nice at-home shooting range here. And then the backdrop here, uh, I actually cleared the top of my property here. So let me kind of span around here. So I actually had a buddy come with his machine, took out all the trees here and uh, ripped up all the stumps. Now he's gonna come back probably another week or so with his skid loader and kind of level it out a little bit more. Because eventually I'd like to try to put a pole barn over here in the back and keep that as my main garage where I could park my big truck. Because right now, you know, that's my house down there. My truck sits out in the driveway because it doesn't fit in the actual garage. So I wanted to clear up here because this is a perfect place to shoot, put a pool barn over here, maybe over here, I'm gonna put a pavilion, take advantage of the nice view. So it'll be a good time. But let me give you a better view a little further back. What I'll probably do is mark out distances. But here, this right here is about where I'd be shooting for with pistols and such. So this is probably a good 15 yards, something like that, probably about 15 yards, so about 30 feet or so. So this is a good distance here, but again, I can come all the way over here and break out the AR or something else, maybe even my shotgun with some slugs. And get a nice distance there. So I, again, I wanted to kind of black out that frame so it kind of hides a little bit. I wanted to steal targets like a bright green. And who knows, I might change it to an orange someday, but I wanted something bright enough that you could see. But there it is. So again, that's, that's it. So there it is, guys. That's a very simple, quick and easy way to make a at-home target stand. Uh, again, I'll post the link in the description uh, for the targets. I got them off eBay. I'll post that in the link. But again, most of the stuff you could buy at your local hardware store, or maybe you're not at your local Lowe's or Home Depot. Um, if you have someone around that does um, steel fabricating, maybe you can even have them fabricate your own plates. Um, you could probably even go to a place that sells that and just buy square plates. It doesn't have to be round. You can do square or whatever shape you want. But if you want something just quick and easy like I was going for, you could buy this whole kit for around $95 on eBay. And again, I'll post the link in the description. So that's it, guys. I hope you like this video. If you have any further questions, just leave me a comment. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. And uh, again, I just want to say thank you again to everyone who subscribes to the channel. It definitely uh, helps me out and I truly appreciate it. But do me a favor, like this video, uh, hit that thumbs up button, and, uh, and we'll go from there. So as always, see you in the next video.